what are you doing? It's like, well, we go out to like the middle of nowhere in the forest or like a <laughs> field and we look at a big rock and we want to find the hardest way we can physically get to the top of the rock. And you're like, why? Why? Can you uh, make a better definition of like pursuit of pointless, of like it's like of something or like, yeah, what is this? You go up to these rocks that potentially are covered in like grass and moss, you have to clean and some of the holds, and you kind of uncover this mystery about them. Keep on being like, what is it? Right here on the side. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, yeah. Only right or on the left. But that's so hard. Yeah, Will, come on. That's really I don't think that's the way. Come on. Nice, dude. Oh. Fucking sick. Come on. Go on. Pat. You want to top out. It's going to be. Well, I think climbing and hard climbing is about movement, it's about trying to dig deep into movement to find a clue on the hardest path. It's not about to find the easy path, it's to find a way in the harder path. Someone with a different climbing style or different climbing history just might have a different idea that they might have used. And so you think about it and you're like, maybe I should try that. And even if you can't get it, it gives you an idea for something to practice in the future. Oh my God, nice. it's terrible. <laughs> Is that, I think that's the right one. Yeah, yeah that feels yeah. so much better. Yeah. You know, potentially they don't work, potentially there aren't enough holds and what holds there are maybe makes it climb with moves that you wouldn't have even thought or ever done before. And it, because they're all that's there, it forces you to try these new things and think completely out the box. Or is it the dream hand stand? Both, yeah, it's dream hand stand. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's just a dream hand It's just you have to do it. Three holds on the wall, like two ha like a hand, you go into another hand and there's one foot. There could still be like a hundred different ways to try this move. Yeah, I can, I'm pretty sure I can break it to that bit. And then cross to like there's like a little C look better higher. Come on. still doubt myself all the time, whether it's climbing or just in life in general. And so it's easy to see, kind of hyper fixate on that or hyper fixate on like how others are doing, going, wrapping all the way back to that. But it's like, I don't know, I'm like, just kind of go and do whatever it is, whatever you're afraid of doing, it's like, go for it. Cause it's like, you're never gonna feel as bad going for it and failing as you would if you never tried it.
Come on. Yeah, come on. It's oh, so hard for me to get the pillow up. Because I feel like it's so stretched. But if as soon as the Come on, Come on. Come on. I don't care if anyone does better than me, but I'm like, I want to see everyone constantly pushing it because I'm like, I'm like, at some point, someone's going to do something. We don't think people are going to do like be 15, 16, 17s. And I'm like, then you think about as a paraclimber, it's like, okay, when was the last time someone did like a 7C with one hand or like, and no one's done 8s for sure. Um, and so you think about it and you're like, could be possible. I don't know. I'm gonna warn you right now, you look like the size of the boulder. Yeah. I, oh, I like, mean, when you, I mean, like, <laughs> you when you stood up, up. <laughs> no, like, you look the size of the boulder. <laughs> 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 You come to a boulder and there's kind of like little feet everywhere and it's just trying to piece the puzzle together. It's just, for me, it's so exciting. Yeah, I'm going to go left hand, get my knee bar higher, and then go into that corner thing. Which, like this chunk? Yeah, Whoa. chunk, just like, like this. Great. Come in right hand, yeah. and then like get my right foot really high and like left foot out, and literally wow. like just stand up and then flip this. That's so, flip this? Yeah. And That's then I'm crazy. just kind of standing in the corner weirdly, and then go yep. to this. When you get in connection with the element, you start also to connect with other people, like talking the same language. Yeah, it's, it's a weird sort of thing to think about when you look at these cliffs and you're like, ah, oh, you don't have to go that way, but in going that way, you find something new. And Because in a lot of ways it's like I've learned that it's like I'm unique um, and I've come to accept that it's easy for me to not look at other people and what they're doing and like try to compare myself to it because I'm like I mean my life is different from theirs it's like yeah maybe they did this but you don't know what else they have going on in their life so I'm like am I happy with what I'm doing yeah because I think climbing makes you connect back with your roots, who you are as human. And because we are just part of this whole element, this whole earth. And we've forgotten to like connect back with our with what we are. And 
between nature 